Killing machine. So thank you once again for joining a Crazy Killing Machine video. My name's Carl, and today I've got something that uh, I'm phenomenally excited about uh, being able to show you. Um, Steve and I have been working on something for a number of weeks. It's something that we've looked at for a number of months, um, but realistically we've um, yeah we've, we've pulled a trigger and, and tried to develop and design something um, that's that's going to add significant value to, uh, to the community. We certainly feel it will do. Um, so there's no secret that recently, very recently, we've uh, we started the Crazy Killing Machine Network, and that is designed to be a platform for getting multiple content creators and multiple people involved around Europe and potentially around the world um, to 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 bring a centralised or collaborative approach to to content. So helping people leverage a platform um, to. To, to express their their art or what they're what they're developing or what they're what they're creating, and the reaction and the success that that's had over the past month has been incredible. You know, it's been absolutely phenomenal, and we're really really humbled by um by by how many people have visited the site, how many people are reading the posts. Hopefully, the the articles that are being being created are are um, what you guys are expecting and what you guys are actually thinking can bring value to to uh, to a media platform. And we're certainly going to do more of that, and we're certainly looking for more people to do to, to do more of those things. Um, but a couple of things that we want to show you today that we are we're, we're super excited about. Um, so, without further ado, I want to jump onto the the website and um, and let's get started. So, welcome to our new platform. Um, for those that haven't seen it before, this is Crazy Killing Machine Network .uk. This is our I suppose the epicenter of what we're trying to achieve with Crazy Killing Machine Network, which is this creation of centralized uh, centralized content creation. But we're expecting and hoping it's going to go much wider than that. Um, and you'll see some of the things that we're super excited about that we're just about to add to the platform um, that are currently going through beta, te beta, uh, beta testing. But we're yeah we're, we're 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 really happy with how this is looking. But just a very quick whip round couple a couple of the things that are on here that we've added recently. So we wanted the Crazy Killing Machine Network to be about two things: about creating a centralized platform for content, and it's it's starting to certainly become that. But what we also wanted to do is it for it to be a a repository for rules, for card discussion, for resources, for uh, fundamentally for helping people play the game and helping people that organize uh, organize competitions and organize tournaments um, to have a centralized repository of, of stuff. So we have our content creators and I'm sure you'll fly, you'll go through those and if you look into the homepage, we've got some of our, our recent articles that have been posted in multiple languages thanks to some of our friends around Europe, in Italy and in Germany and very soon in France uh, and in Poland as well. So it's, it's, it's all happening and we have a very exciting announcement soon about uh, a very interesting project in Spain. But um, what I want to show you a bit more about today is very, very quickly just some of the stuff that we've added around the rules and resources. Um, so if you are in a tournament or if you are looking to understand more about Keyforge, whether you're learning how to play the game, whether you want to check some of the erratas and the FAQs or the glossaries, um, we have the timing charts as well um, for how, things how the turn interacts with itself uh, and in what order things happen. If you are looking to run a tournament, as well the floor rules that uh, that Fantasy Flight Games have recently released, we've got information here about uh, event disruptions and, and penalties and how to actually run the tournament. And again, all this sort of stuff is is hyperlinked into its own document. So if you want to find out information about, for example, what do we mean when we talk about a major harassment and what is the actual requirement around the rulings of major harassments? So again, it's something that we'd like to show you in more detail, but that's the nice bit that we've added to the platform. What we really want to show you is a library that's been created. Um, you know what, let's get into it. Now this is what we're super excited about. So again, this is we spent a bit of time thinking about what we want this, this platform to be or what we want this, this, this part of the platform in particular to be. 
and we wanted to create a very, very clean, very, very simple and easy to use centralized repository of, of cards. Now, there are lots of card databases around there, and they all do something very specific. Um, Decks at Keyforge, for example, have their very, very um, intricate um, SAS and AERC and, and, and deck ratings. And we, we were quite specific that we didn't want to do anything other than have a centralized repository for a, a number of things. So we wanted to have the cards, so if people were specifically looking for cards and what they said, at a click of a button and very quickly. But we also wanted to create a centralized link between cards of any rulings that had been given either officially or unofficially, marked very clearly whether they were, they were FFG rulings or whether they were rulings that haven't officially been confirmed by FFG but are the standard practice of how the card interacts with, with other things. But also have the interaction between those cards within the repository. So if there is a ruling that interacts with multiple cards, that it shows up on, on those multiple cards and how that works. So we wanted to, it to be very, very clear, very, very clean. One thing that was super important to us that it worked on mobile as well as it did on, uh, on a phone. But also we wanted a direct link between some very, very qualified judges um, to be able to give support when people needed answers to a question and the end user. So we wanted to create a, 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 a form or a link or a, or, a, or a contact point between somebody playing the game or somebody ruling or TOing a game to a, I'd say qualified, but as close to qualified as possible judge or experienced judge within Keyforge to help them with that ruling. Uh, but without further ado, let's look at the platform. So we've currently called it the card library and this was a, a former concept. This is what we just created for it to, to look uh, clean and easy. And to be fair, it's sort of sat with us. We like the black and white, they're very, very simple. And this is a search platform for cards, as I'm sure you can see on the, on the platform. I'll keep saying platform more. Uh, but again, multiple search functions. You can search by the name, you can search by the house, you can search by the expansion. If you're specifically looking for something different, you can search by a trait, you can search by the card type. But realistically, this is designed to get you to a card very, very quickly. So if we, for example, wanted to say we're looking for library access, you type in library within seconds, oh, not even seconds, library access or anything with library comes into the platform. So we're looking for library access. We click on library access. And very quickly, it brings up a page around library access to say, here's the information that we know about this card currently. Now, again, just to put at this point, this isn't a beta, te a beta test. So we've put some rules and some queries in here. We've got a bank of about 950 um, that we're currently vetting to put in here as well. And these are rulings that have been given at local tournament, sorry, at um, competitive level tournaments around Europe. Um, and hopefully we can start adding more and more and more to make it much more resilient of a, um, of a platform. So this is what we have currently. So if we're looking at library access, we know that it does have an official errata, and this is what it should really mean. Uh, and this is, sorry, and this is what the, 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 the wording of the, the box now really says. We have the card. Now we did play about with having a box with all the card information on here with uh, amber generation and, and power and shields and those sorts of things very quickly decided that we just didn't need that because if we make the card clear enough and we make it uh, appear quick enough um, it's there so again it's not it. we, we haven't created more information around that but what we do have is we know that there's been a question asked about um, house logos and library access and wild wormhole so if there's a question there that you'd like answering you click on the question and it opens up the answer so again we know that when wild wormhole, wild wormhole is played after a library access this is how it interacts now there's two things that will happen at this point. Either your question's there and it's been answered, or if it's not there and it hasn't been answered, we have a submission here at this point where you can ask that question. So, carl, carl.woodwiss at gmail.com and question. And at that point we can submit that question and it comes straight through to us and we have a team of a team of very, very good rules, um, I would say experts, but as close to experts as we possibly can be that can help support with those those questions and at that point we can start to interact with ffg to get clarifications on those questions as well so it's just a, a very clear and clean mechanism to actually have a route into getting your questions answered but again as this bank starts to build we're going to have more and more questions and more and more hypothetical scenarios that should be covered if you're if you're accessing this card to look at 
And just to clarify as well, so here we've got a card that uh, a ruling that interacts with Wild Wormhole and Library Access. I've not tested this, but it should, and I'm confident it will, have the same ruling on, uh, on Wild Wormhole as well. So if we go back to the card library page, and um, we're going to find Wild Wormhole in a different way. So let's say we're going to cho choose by house, and we know it's in Logos. And then we're going to choose by expansion, we know it's in Call of the Archons. And if we want to do more, so, oh, oops, let's try that again, we cleared search. Uh, so we know it's in house, so we know it's in house Logos. We know it's an expansion, so we can say it's in Call of the Archons. If we want to get more granular, we're going to say, well, actually, let's look at card types, and it's an action. So an action within Logos, within Call of the Archons. Scroll down slightly, and where are you? There you are, Wild Wormhole. And again, it's all alphabetical, so if, you want to, if you're looking for a card specifically, well, here we go, we've got, we, we've got Wild Wormhole. So with Wild Wormhole, we're looking for that question, here we go. Question, same question with the same answers there. So it's the same question that's been interacting with the two different cars, Wild Wormhole and Library Access. It spreads across the two. And that's something that's taken us a bit of work um, to make sure that we got right, but I think the outcome is, uh, is phenomenal. Now, we're certainly looking for some feedback um, because we are precious about this. We've spent a lot of time on it. Um, it looks quite a uh, quite simple process, but there's a lot of cards with a lot of rulings and a lot of different criteria. And uh, the website that we're using has its own coding platform and uh, uses its own language. So it's been a learning curve and we're certainly by no means, um, we're no means coders or web developers or web designers, but um, this is the platform that we have. And Again, it's going through now. We're going to release it soon. Uh, we're incredibly excited about it. We really hope it's going to add value to to what you guys want from a, uh, a card library or a, or a reference point. But this is uh, this is our platform, you know. And uh, if, if you want to give some feedback of things that we can add, it is something that we're going to be constantly constantly evolving for example one thing we also have and i'm going to say at this point if you don't want to see any mass mutation spoilers um look away now because we do have all of the spoilers built into the system so if you want to come on here and have a look at all the cards that have been released already um then by all means that you can do if you click on one of the cards obviously there's no rulings against these cards yet so what you will also get is a very clear um uh, message that says we don't have any rules based on this card yet. If you have a question for this card, please submit it to us. Be the first. We'll get it on the site for others to see as well. Because if you're asking the question, the likelihood is more people are going to need the answer to that question. And we're committed to supporting the community with that. Um, so I'm conscious that this one, I wanted this to be a short video. Um, we are super excited about how the platform looks. We're super excited about the functionality. And once we get all of the criteria and all of the information on there, we want to have a critical mass before we release it. To, uh, to, to the wider network, but we're always open to constructive criticisms and things that we can change. If it's positive feedback, negative feedback, tell us. We're, 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 we're super open and we want to know. You know, we're, we're, This is a passion project for us and if, we can, if we've missed the mark and it's not quite what you guys want, but we can make it what you guys want, then, then we're, again, we're certainly open to that feedback. So I'm going to leave it there. It's going to be up and running very, very shortly. Please let us know what you think and thank you for watching. Take care.